Hello, my lovely SSMians, my lovely, lovely angels. I am so glad to see all of you. I'm so excited to see all of you, to be very honest. Today, we are going to connect with Goddess Lakshmi. We're going to understand certain things about her. We're going to know her more. We're also going to do a meditation for wish fulfillment. I have a surprise, three surprises, all right? And those surprises I will be giving at the end of the session. So ensure that you remain uh, till the end of the sessions. This is for people who are attending this session live and uh, not for the recorded ones and not for the YouTube ones. However, uh, there is going to be, uh, it's a very interesting session today. So tell me one thing. When you hear the word or when you see Goddess Lakshmi, what is it that comes to your mind? Please write in the comment section. When you hear Goddess Lakshmi or when you see a Goddess Lakshmi picture, what is it that comes to your mind? It could be a fear. It could be something that you always felt about her. Goddess of wealth, good fortune, prosperity, Balaji, kindness and motherly, prosperity, love, abundance, Ah, uh, wow. Peace, respect, ma, wealth, gold, color. Amazing, amazing beauty. When I see Goddess Lakshmi, right from uh, childhood, you know, we all have heard a lot of things about Goddess Lakshmi, right? Like, uh, you know, she gets angry, uh, especially in Diwali day. Do you remember Diwali day, how it used to be? Our mothers used to run around shouting at everyone because everyone was sitting, you know, very laid back and the mother was doing everything and there was this uh, tensed uh, atmosphere wherein you're not allowed to fight but you know the atmosphere is tense at the same time when the evening used to happen everybody used to get dressed there used to be firecrackers a uh, sweets and the same mother used to be just so loving towards you caring for you do you remember all those memories of childhood do you remember Yes, right. So let's start with Goddess Lakshmi session today because many of you had written to my team last time as well that this session, last year's free session, last year's Goddess Lakshmi workshop did bring a lot of change in all your lives. So let's get started. So as you can see, Goddess Lakshmi, she looks mesmerizing. Just one look at her and you can forget everything about your pain, trauma. I have been doing, I must have done more than one lakh consultations. And I've always seen Goddess Lakshmi does come through for her devotees. So many channeling sessions, she has acknowledged the smallest thing that the uh, devotee has done for her. As simple as lighting an oil lamp, okay? Or as simple as, you know, just saying that, hey, you know, I, I still remember there was this one participant who could not do the Diwali Puja. And uh, she was seeing, and when I was doing the channeling uh, for her, I said that Goddess Lakshmi is saying that whatever you did for me, I appreciate it. And she just burst into tears and she was like, Sheetal, you know, I could not do an elaborate puja. I just did a basic, basic, you know, flower offering. And I'm so glad that she accepted it. So obviously, Goddess Lakshmi is our mother and she'll accept the bare minimum as well. But why be bare minimum when you can be fully devoted to her? Isn't it? So let's get, let's go ahead. So let us know our mother more. I'm going to close the comment section. Can we close the comment section in this? Okay, I think in a meeting, normally I take Zoom webinars, not meeting. This time I told my team, let's keep a meeting. Okay, any which way, I'll request you all to focus on the uh, session. All right. So let us know our mother more. Okay. First thing, is she really our mother? Because, you know, we have heard so many things, right? We have all seen her 
sitting on Vishnu's feet and pressing his uh, feet. And many, uh, many people feel very uncomfortable seeing that picture as well. They're like, why is uh, Goddess uh, Lakshmi uh, pressing, you know, uh, Vishnu's feet? Isn't, aren't uh, husband and wife meant to be equal? Well, in terms of Goddess Lakshmi and Sri Vishnu, they are equal in terms of their marriage. However, Goddess Lakshmi prays and worships Sri Vishnu, who is the Jagannath as well, who takes care of the universe, who is the maintain who maintains the universe so beautifully. So now the question comes: if she is our mother, what kind of role does she play in terms of her being our mother? Well, first thing is goddess lakshmi and is our mother so definitely sri vishnu is our father what do fathers do what do fathers do tell me what do fathers do what do fathers do and what do mothers do father protects disciplines provides and protects protection and provides Mother takes care? Absolutely. So just like that, even Sri Vishnu, okay, he is a very loving father, but he is a disciplinarian as well. As in, he is not going to sit with a stick. He is like, he will love you a lot. But at the same time, when you do a mistake, he will ensure that you also face the consequences of it. However, Goddess Lakshmi will ensure that all, all of you, can you hear me? All of you, can you hear me? Yeah, all of you can, right? Okay, lovely. So, what Goddess Lakshmi will do is, all her devotees, she will, she will speak to God, Lord Vishnu and say that, hey, you know, please forgive this devotee of mine, please. So, she'll kind of play like an advocate. How your mother does when you do a mistake and your father is about to discipline you, she will come in between and like, you know, you don't shout at uh, shout at him or her. I'm sorry, she did a mistake or he did a mistake. She'll not do it again. You know, you'd, your mother will always advocate for you, right? Same way Goddess Lakshmi does. So she will advocate for you in front of Sri Vishnu. She will plead your case. She'll make Sri Vishnu understand that, yes, you know, the devotee has done a mistake. Our child has done a mistake, but please forgive our child. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing to know that how kind she is, how forgiving she is, right? Now, let's know more of more about her. Are you, are you looking forward to know more about Goddess Lakshmi? This was something new, right? This was something new. So now, let's know more about Goddess Lakshmi, okay? The next is why is she called Chanchal? Since childhood, you know, we have heard that, right? Goddess Lakshmi is Chanchal, you know. You have to be very careful around her because she is very fickle. She can go, you know, she can come in your life like this and go in from your life like that. Haven't we all heard? How many of you have heard Goddess Lakshmi is Chanchal? How many of you? Right? So many of you have heard that Goddess Lakshmi is Chanchal. And that is not the case. In fact, in the Pancharatra text, Goddess Lakshmi herself has said that I am as stable as Sri Vishnu. Now here the question arises: if she herself is saying she is as stable as Sri Vishnu, then why is it called Chanchal. In fact, many of the uh, prayers or shlokas that you read, there'll be some mention of her being Chanchal as well, right? So why is this contradiction? I'll tell you why is this contradiction. This contradiction is because she is not Chanchal. Our acts makes her Chanchal. In the, so what does that mean? That means when we are not doing the right thing, when we are not taking the right action, she, she as a mother will ensure that we also learn a lesson. Are mothers also disciplined? Do our mothers discipline? Yes, she will not be like, right? 
uh, oh you are eating chocolates come on eat more eat 10 more of them oh you are on the phone all the time wow amazing be on the laptop and the tab as well no right she will use some method or the other to discipline us right so do we call our mother chanchal my mom is so chanchal, you know, the moment I'm on the phone 24 seven, her chanchal ahad becomes that uh, great that she just does not talk to me like she she her mood swings begins. Do we say that? No, right? Similarly, goddess Lakshmi is not chanchal. Our acts, our behavior tends to affect her stability. One thing I'll tell you, now tell me if you have a single friend and your single friend comes for a party, okay, they will stay, right? But if you have a couple friend and one of the friend comes to your home, won't they be in a hurry? You know what? I have to go back. My spouse is, you know, waiting for me. Won't that happen? If you if you invite a couple friend for a party out of which uh one uh, one comes and the other has to stay behind the one who has come won't they be like no I, I need to go back you know my spouse is waiting won't they do that they would be constantly in a hurry to go back right right same way if you want goddess lakshmi to be stable then you have to also pray to sri vishnu because they are a divine couple right now let's understand that she is not unstable. Our acts like laziness, lack of ethics, lack of hygiene, behavior, unkind words makes her to distance herself from us. You know what is the biggest positive karma you can create? Like without doing much? Do you know what is the biggest positive karma you can create without doing much? What could it be? Kindness, stay clean, being kind. Yes, right, KM Sundaration, it is kind words. It will not take you any effort to use kind words. The most easiest way to win over Goddess Lakshmi is to use kind words. You know, it is as simple as that. When you're going to, when you're constantly spewing venom via your words, you are distancing yourself from Goddess Lakshmi. Now, if you keep on abusing everybody around you, will your mother be like, wow, my child gives such great swear words. I'm so proud of my child. Would your mother do that? Definitely not. Your mother will be upset if you are using swear words or you are spewing venomous word because that's not what she has given. The values that she has given, that's not the ones, right? Similarly, Mother Lakshmi does not like, like people being unkind. I've seen, I've done so many consultations. Whenever there has been a financial issue, Okay, somebody facing a financial issue. There always has been a sword card in the obstacle. My tarot participants would know what I'm talking about. Sword represents the queen of swords, king of swords. Somebody is very harsh. Okay, so let's go ahead. Is this interesting? Do you find this information interesting? Yeah. Okay, lovely. Let's go ahead. There's so much more to know. Next is how do we connect with Goddess Lakshmi? Yeah, how do we connect with her? How, uh, you know, how do we ensure that we have this bond with her? And this bond is so strong that her energy flows to us and we keep on growing and shining bright, right? Now tell me if you go in sun, okay, in the morning sun, do you feel good? When you go in the morning sun, do you feel good? But the sun is not too bright, not too dim, like pleasant. You feel good, right? Why so? Why is it so? Why do you feel so great? Because of the light, the sunshine, right? The warmth, the brightness, the freshness, right? Same way Goddess Lakshmi's energy is. 
we can see the sun we cannot see goddess lakshmi with our naked eyes right but her presence will make your life brighter now how do we do that there are certain things that we can do to ensure that goddess lakshmi's energy brightens in our life i'm going to share with you very very powerful rituals and a meditation with you in some time that will help you to connect with her but what are the other methods first havan okay as per the shri suktam 16th verse tells that whoever does fire offering their longing for shri that is goddess lakshmi does get a reduce or that is met okay havan is one of the most beautiful form of offering uh, your prayers to god to do, to the goddess yeah in goddess lakshmi workshop i teach how to do a havan in a very simple way then there are rituals that you can do that helps you to connect with the energy there are prayers mantras but you know what is the most beautiful form of um, form to connect with goddess lakshmi is conversation yes i can tell you the number of times you know uh, participants have come to me and they have told me that sheetal you know i was so worried i was so tense i just sat in front of goddess lakshmi and i poured my heart out to her and i felt so light you know she is a mother right when you go to your mother and you had a bad day what do you want to do you want to see your mother the first thing and when you see your mother you will pour your heart out you know what mama this happened that happened and just by telling her you feel good because somewhere you know that she will take care even in the god's court the first prayer or the most importance given to any prayer is a mother's prayer that is the most beautiful part about a mother right and goddess lakshmi is our mother that's why she prays to vishnu now who is the caretaker of the universe who is the caretaker of the earth narayana narayana so she tells shri vishnu shri vishnu this is the prayers of my devotees you know because she will give wealth but the ability to maintain that wealth will be presented to you by shri vishnu the last is gratitude till date no matter what comes in my home a big thing a small thing first thing i will do is i'll keep it in front of goddess lakshmi and i always tell, thank you for blessing us with this in you know i had this full time support uh, you know who uh, who was like you know didi why do you always keep whatever you even the small thing you will keep in front of goddess lakshmi like even the groceries i would first keep in front of her and after that i'll take it out because we cannot deny that goddess if goddess lakshmi is out of your life there is absolutely nothing that will remain okay that is why always always even even if you buy the biggest thing the smallest thing say thank you goddess lakshmi you know you blessed me with this right right would you like to see some miracles now would you like to see some miracles and then we are going to do a very powerful ritual yeah okay the first miracle is by deep shri kaswan she did the goddess lakshmi workshop in which she had done the diwali puja and the havan and in a week's time she received 42000 unexpected income next we have naya naya you know she uh, all her wishes got completed within 2 months and she got a super cool tablet as a gift worth 453 she's getting clients for her reiki and tarot healing even without advertising just word of mouth isn't that amazing now let's see a ritual so all of you let's see this ritual the ritual to please goddess lakshmi okay for this ritual i am just hold on yeah this is the this is the goddess lakshmi statue in my house uh in this workshop goddess lakshmi workshop i'm going to teach this time how you can drape your drape you know uh, goddess lakshmi this beautifully all right so this is something that i'm added in this workshop so now let's see this ritual for this ritual you will require any rose water any brand is okay you will require a bowl of water all right and you would require some rose petals 
in case if you do not have rose petals do not worry do not be like oh my god i i live in the us or uk or a place where it's very difficult to get rose petals all right rose petals preferably but if you're not able to get it it is okay all right i'll just show you the ritual first okay the material as i said now let me just show you the ritual along with so do you want me to uh, make the screen big and show you the ritual or do you want me to show it along with what do you want me to do okay first i'll just help you to go through the ritual and then i will do it is that okay is that okay along with big yes okay first i'll show you the ritual then i'll do it also for you so it, it's a two two it's a win win situation there is no manual but you'll have an access to this um, it's a lifetime access so don't worry yeah you can always come back and see this video so now we'll require a bowl all right in which you're going to put in 10 to 15 drops of rose water we're also going to put some rose petals this you can do it on friday or every day depending upon how you feel comfortable then you're going to chant 11 times om reem shreem clean shreem mahalakshmi mama gruhe dhanam puraya puraya chintaya duraya duraya swaha which means give me prosperity and take away my worries all right this is the mantra you will chant the mantra 11 times holding the bowl and then you will next day sprinkle the water in the home on and on the people in the house and then you'll the remaining water you will offer to any tree but not tulsi okay and this you can do any day. You can also do the ritual continuously for 21 days or every Friday, depending upon your comfort. The, to do the ritual in menstruation or not is up to you. Now, let me tell you. Okay, now there must be this. I explained the ritual to you. But somewhere there must be, you know, that, okay, Sheetal, but uh, can, you just can you just help us to understand, you know, what what is, why we are using what we are using. Okay. First, the reason we are using rose water and rose petals because goddess Lakshmi loves them. Okay, the fragrance of rose. Now, if you if you read the read anything about goddess Lakshmi in the old in the scripts written by the sages, it is mentioned that she is the source of all fragrances. Okay, so here when you now when you when you take rose water, you can sense the fragrance. Right, it's a it's got a beautiful sweet smell. Now, why water? Because goddess Lakshmi was born from this Shir Sagara. Okay, that is an ocean. So what you will do is, you will take a glass or a bowl of water. You will just add 10 to 15 drops of rose water. If you add more, don't panic. If you add less, don't panic. She is your mother. Okay, tomorrow your mother asks you for water. Will she be like, oh, you gave me only so much water. Oh, no, right? She'll be more than grateful that you're offering water. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put rose petals. Now, suppose if you stay in a place where rose petals are not possible, you can use any other flowers or you can completely skip the step as well. Okay. Then you're going to hold this. Okay. You're going to hold this. You get rose water very easily. So let's stick to it. Okay. Let's not be like, oh, rose essential water or not. You get rose water easily everywhere. You'll hold this in your hand and you will chant 11 times Om Reem Shreem Kleem Shreem Mahalakshmi Mama Gruhe Dhanam Puraya Puraya Chintaya Duraya Duraya Swaha. You have to say this 11 times. This recording will be available with you so you can replay it again to check the pronunciation. Now, once you're chanted, uh, on this bowl for 11 times what happens is this bowl gets the energy of the mantra that you have recited as well and the moment you keep it in front of goddess Lakshmi she blesses this as well and then the next day when you're going to sprinkle the water in your house and the people in your in the house they're not only going to get purified they're going to get infused with the energy of prosperity as I told you, this mantra removes all the worry that you have and uh, blesses you with prosperity. And isn't that what we want? We want peace at the end of the day. 
we are not interested in you know constantly worrying about oh my god what if when i retire i don't have money what if you know uh what if what if you know this happens or that happens you know we want to have peace right so is this uh, is this clear to you i will now take you back again to the ritual okay all right and this video recording is available you can see it so don't worry all right and uh, now the question would be shital but should i be keeping this glass bowl separate or i can use any glass bowl that is available in your home please use any glass bowl that is available in your home but just ensure that before you doing this ritual they are cleaning the bowl in a very good manner okay all right and please do not throw the bowl huh? oh i done the ritual now let me throw the bowl no steel bowl uh glass bowl is better because the beauty see goddess lakshmi is about beauty as well now you tell me when you look at this bowl don't you find it beautiful doesn't it make you feel so good just looking at this bowl brings in that element of peace right right so steel bowl will will not really help now when i say rose water it is rose water it's not rose perfume it's not rose essential oil either all right now why is it so why not essential oil why not perfume why only rose water because oil is a sticky element okay and what are we praying we are praying for the worries to go away do you want the worries to stick to you no right so when you are going to sprinkle it in your house you want it to evaporate the water should evaporate right so that is why you are not supposed to add oil in it okay use any bowl except plastic preferably glass okay preferably glass but use a beautiful bowl okay now where do you keep this bowl you'll keep this bowl in front of goddess lakshmi clear Uh, you can keep it in front of her picture or a statue. But what if you don't have a picture or statue? Then where will you keep it? You can keep it on your altar as well. Okay, where what wherever your the place of worship in your house is, you can keep it there as well. All right. Can we do this ritual at night? As you can see over here, you can do this ritual any time. Any time. Okay. you don't have to have a ritual the statue or a picture you can even keep it on a mobile phone keep it in front of her then take your mobile phone back all right clear everyone it's complete please don't say sorry any question that you have you can ask me over here in this live session post this session i will not be available but over here i will answer your question okay all right and this video is for your reference so you don't have to worry you can always play back the video see whatever you want to see right now can we go ahead can we go ahead can we go ahead sarita is asking why not tulsi because tulsi and goddess lakshmi don't see eye to eye okay but more than that rather than saying they don't see eye to eye it's it's a water that you offer to the goddess lakshmi right and then if you offer it to tulsi she is also a goddess doesn't make sense right okay should we keep this water overnight whenever you do it the next day you are supposed to remove it okay you can use any pitcher now can we go ahead can we go ahead can we go ahead yeah okay yeah now otherwise we'll be here only because the questions are endless isn't it okay now let's see you do not drink the water you see now please read read this what is written over here what is written over here sprinkle the water there is no mention of drinking the water now sweetheart if you keep the bowl in front of goddess lakshmi and next day if you're going to remove it will it will not be uh, you cannot consume it yeah don't do such stunts okay now let's go ahead 
Next is, let's see some miracles which participants have experienced because that really puts in that belief and hope, right? So we have Yuvarani. She did the Goddess Lakshmi workshop and uh, she did the Var Lakshmi ritual, which was taught in the Goddess Lakshmi workshop. Last year, she got, she had manifested 80 grams of gold. And this year, despite of the hike in price, she was able to manifest 75 grams of gold. Isn't that amazing? Right? Next, we have Madhuri. So Madhuri did the Goddess Lakshmi Miracle Lamp. It's a special lamp which I teach in the Goddess Lakshmi workshop. Many participants have experienced huge benefits after doing that lamp. Some have got iPhone as a gift from their husband. In case of Madhuri, she got a good hike and also bonus. Awesome, right? That's the kindness of Goddess Lakshmi. You do, you do what is taught, she will definitely help you. And even if you just have a conversation, you know, definitely if you do the bare minimum, she will help you. But if you really deeply do the rituals and prayers, the connect is more. It's like this. If and you charge it for like five minutes, will it be 100% charged? No. But if you use a, and if you keep it for like, 20 minutes, 30 minutes or an hour, it would be 100% charge, right? Same way our, our entire being is like a phone, okay? Our battery gets drained because of overthinking, outside negativity. And when we are drained, our finances also get drained. So we need that, need that charging. And this charging is provided when we connect with the gods and goddesses. And when we do their prayers, ritual mantras, we connect with them in a very, very profound way. All right. I did all the rituals in Diwali in January and I manifested 10 lakhs because of this workshop. Thank you so much, Namrita. That's very kind of you to share. Okay, let's go ahead. Now, let's do one more ritual. Do you see this picture? Isn't this beautiful? Yeah. This is Sri Narayana. This is Goddess Lakshmi. And this is Kubera. This is one of the pujas that I had done. Okay. Uh, last Dhanteras, I had done this puja. I teach how to do the puja in my Goddess Lakshmi workshop. The decoration and all, you have to do it on your own. But how to do the puja? How to, what are the small, small nuances that you can do without any fear is what I teach in my Goddess Lakshmi workshop. Now, let's go ahead. And uh, let's see this ritual, okay? Now, we all know, we all know that Goddess Lakshmi is the goddess of fortune and goddess of wealth. There are 27 forms of Goddess Lakshmi and praying to those 27 forms can bless you with progeny, peace, prosperity, courage, good food, beauty. And um, this 27 forms of Goddess Lakshmi can be prayed to in like, 10 minutes, okay? This is one of the most powerful rituals of the Goddess Lakshmi workshop. Now here we have Sri Kubera. So if Goddess Lakshmi is the goddess of wealth and fortune, Sri Kubera is the one who maintains this wealth and fortune. He knows exactly where the keys to all the wealth reside. And if he gives you that key, you can, your life will just get changed, okay? He is so powerful, all right. There's a very detailed uh, Shri Kubera ritual that I teach in my workshop. Here I've given a very simple ritual that you can begin with. All right. So let's get started. Are you all ready? Are you all ready? Yeah. Okay. So for this particular ritual, let's go ahead. The material required. For this, you will require Lakshmi Narayan Kubera. A uh, picture or a statue, all right. You'll re you'll also require one pomegranate, okay? Because Sri Kubera loves pomegranate, all right. You will require a rose or a lotus. Now, if you don't get a pomegranate, don't be like, oh my god, I did not get a pomegranate. That's all right. It's good to have, not must to have, all right. Uh, the flowers that would be great to have is rose or lotus or jasmine. Will require salt, camphor. One cotton week. I'll be showing this ritual to you. So don't worry. You know, oh my God, Sheetal. Don't worry. Oil lamp, incense, and two 
coins of any denomination. Okay, any denomination is fine. All right. What you're going to do is first, you're going to place a picture or a statue on a clean place. It is not difficult to get a picture or a statue. Nowadays, you can get a picture from the internet and put it in a frame as well. Or on your mobile phone, you can keep the picture. Okay, it's as simple as that. Next is you will place the camp. I'm going to show this ritual to you. I'm just helping you to go through it first. Okay, first place the camphor and salt on a place, on a plate, on and on that you'll place the oil lamp. Now, which oil to use? Any puja oil is fine. Or ghee will also do. Okay, ghee is, uh, you know, a but clarified butter. Okay. So my uh, puja is asking, Shila, from where can we buy idols? You can contact Swami's Grace. You can WhatsApp my team. Uh, on nine eight two zero five double three seven five zero, my team will give you their number. You can directly contact them. They provide all sorts of statues and candles and everything. Okay, you can place the camphor and salt on a plate. On that, place the oil lamp. Then you're going to light the lamp and the incense. You're going to offer flowers, pomegranate water, and then you're going to chant Shri Ganesha Nama three times. And then Om Shri Mahalakshmi Kuberaya Namaha 108 times. After that, you're going to say, Dear Goddess Lakshmi Shri Narayana and Shri Kubera, please bestow your grace on me. I'm facing, mention the problems that you're facing. Okay. Then you are going to say, please resolve these problems and bless me with financial abundance. Bless me blessings and miracles. Okay. After that, you're going to say, I'm grateful to you for all the financial blessings and grace. This or better, thank you. All right. Next day, you can burn the, sa the salt and the camphor mixture, eat the pomegranate or distribute it among your family members. Now, the two coins that you have kept, one coin, you'll keep it in your wallet or cash box. And the second coin you're going to denote, uh, sorry, donate. Okay. As simple as that. This ritual you can do at any time and to do the ritual you can do it continuously for 21 days or every Friday. You can donate the coin to any homeless person, any needy or you can just put it in a temple as well. Okay, now let me show the ritual to you. I'm going to show the can the, the lighting of the, uh, the oil lamp. Okay, everybody ready? Ready everybody? Okay, so why are we using a camphor and a salt? So this is salt. Any salt will do. You don't have to get the special salt out of the world or something. No, you can take any salt. Okay, you'll keep this salt in the plate like this. Okay, just then you're going to take camphor. Okay, you are going to just, why are we using salt and camphor? Because salt and camphor can absorb any negativity. So if there's any negativity around your finances, around you, the salt and camphor will be able to absorb it. Okay, then when you're going to place the oil lamp, on the plate like this okay as i said you can use any oil that you're comfortable with and you are going to light the oil lamp please be careful of fire okay do not burn anything now what happens is the camphor and the salt will remove all the negativity from your finances and from you and the light will keep on brightening your finances your life okay the light also burns the ego that we have which is very important if you want to go ahead and get connected with goddess lakshmi can you see how beautifully the flame is isn't it right 
So you can keep this in front of uh, Shri Kubera and Goddess Lakshmi and Shri Narayana. The next day, you are going to take the camphor and the salt and burn it on a fire resistant plate. Please, please, please be careful of fire. Okay. I'm going to keep this over here because it's so beautiful. It's just bringing in so much of positivity. Just by looking at this oil lamp, you are feeling so positive. You can get this oil, this lamp from Swami's Grace as well. It's available uh, even in any puja shop, but you can get it from Swami's Grace. Okay. I get all my stuff from them. So this really makes you feel so positive. So imagine if this can make you feel so positive, it can create such a beautiful atmosphere in your house, right? Just a minute, huh, guys. Can you just hold on? So I did tell you about the three surprises, isn't it? Are you guys excited to know about the surprises? Yeah, just give me one moment. Just give me one moment, everybody. So there is a surprise for all of you. Okay, I think I'm going to do this for the first time. But before I tell you what the surprise is, as I said, it will be done at the end of the session. Okay, here I will just take you. So there is this Goddess Lakshmi meditation that I'll be uh, helping you to go through. That's specifically for wish fulfillment. Okay. All right, so first I'll just take you through the Goddess Lakshmi workshop. This is the uh, Goddess Lakshmi workshop details. There are so many topics that I'm going to teach. This year, there are few topics that I have added as well. If you know, Goddess Lakshmi workshop starts on 27th of September, which falls on a Pitru Paksha. There's a reason why I decided to start on 27 September because there will be a one minute ritual that I will be teaching my participants that can help them to not only please God, Goddess, but their ancestors as well. It's a, it's a very old form of ritual. So these are the topics that I'm covering. Navgra ritual, the nine planets ritual, Havan, how to perform and Havan, Goddess Lakshmi altar, Lord Kubey ritual. I'm going to attune it to Goddess Lakshmi energies. Saundra Lakshmi ritual for beauty, Sri Yantra for manifestation, Lakshmi diary. So many pujas I'll be teaching to you. I'll also teach you how, what are her different, different symbols. Also about Swarna Akarshan Bhairava. And this time I have introduced a Swarna Akarshan money attractor grid, which is extremely powerful. I also teach uh, perfume magic for prosperous aura as well. So all this will be covered in the Goddess Lakshmi workshop. All right. And there are 27 forms of Goddess Lakshmi. Okay, this other session date. There it uh if you are not able to attend a live session, you can see the recording as well. There will be view access of the recording. The total number of sessions are eight, out of which two are support sessions. And these are the participants' experiences. And this is the fees. For the ones who have done this workshop before with me, okay, there is a special uh, uh, surprise. You can contact my team, all right? Only the ones who have who are repeating this workshop again with me, all right? 
now uh, before i take you through the meditation all right um would somebody like to share if you have already attended this workshop with me do you want to share your experience if anybody has attended this workshop before with me shushmita somya okay all right oh so many of you want to share your experience okay all right so if you could raise your hand okay let me just pick up one by one just a moment I would request the ones who are going to share their experience. Uh, if you could share it, you know, for a minute, then we can, you know, we can cover at least one or two people more because after that, I have to also cover the meditation. Okay. Uh, Sushmita, you have to unmute yourself. Okay. Meanwhile, Namrata, I will just take you. Hi, Sheetal, and hi everybody. Uh, yeah. Hi, Shushmita. So, Sheetal, you know, you know, I have everybody in and around me knows who is Sheetal. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have been a miracle in my life, and through you, I have been, I have joined. I mean, like Lakshmi Ma, Narayanji. I have learned altar uh, decoration from you. And uh -huh. uh, the best part today is like, you know, when you were teaching that rose water in, your, in that, that ritual, and yeah. I have been doing it, but I didn't know that it has to be sprinkled in the home. Okay. <laughs> so That's this is an add-on. And money, like, yes, I would say there were ups and downs, a lot of ups and downs in, in my life. But now I have become very confident that, you know, Ma is there, Narangi is there, Kuberji is there. Kuch na kuch toh rasta nikal lenge. True. I have become True. very, I have become very, ho gai my mother is like, you are spending mm -hmm. too much, you are spending too much. But I think that, you know, I have been getting a lot, lot of uh, positivity in my life. Lovely, lovely Shushmita. And Thank you so I've, much. I will be repeating your workshop again because I missed a few downloads last time. Not last uh -huh. time, last to last time. But I will be joining Fine. back again because I want to learn that heaven and a few more things. And Akarshan, so in this, uh, which Akarshan ritual it was? Swarna Bhairav. Swarna Akarshan. Thank you so much, Shushmita. Thank you. And uh, thank you so much. And now, Namrita... Uh, Namrita, can you hear us? Can you mute yourself? Unmute yourself. Hi, Namrita. Hello, can we see you as well? Namrita, can we see you? I forgot. Uh, it's raining here actually. And <laughs> like, <laughs> so, yeah. So I have done uh, this uh, this workshop in August last year. But uh, then after in January, uh, being being professional here, uh, our ticket size is very low. But in January, I have earned 10 lakhs rupees in one month. Wow. And then again, uh, I uh, come to normal income. But hmm. in April, again, I uh, faced one dagger that I got one partnership offer. Wow. And I was not expecting this at all. So I have now seven eight people uh, employees, so I can enjoy my time as well. So it's not only about money, but I am getting that freedom from uh, hectic uh, professional life. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Namrita. And I'll take a last one. Okay, I'm so sorry. Just because you know we are running out of time, I would. There's so many of you want to share your miracles. Uh, I would love to listen to all of them. You can write to my team as well. All right. And uh, hold on, hold on. 
so Somya, can you just a moment, Mila? Somya? Okay, hold on, guys. Please hold on. Okay, we will just add pin. All right, Somya, can you unmute yourself and can we also see you? Hi, Somya. Hello, ma'am. Ma'am, can Hi, I Somya. I can hear you, but I can't see you. Okay. I don't know, ma'am, where my camera is not uh, mm -hmm. opening. No I don't problem. know why. No problem, Okay. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for uh, everything. It's just, I first I am... Um, uh, attended Ma Lakshmi Ma workshop uh, last time and after mm -hmm. that I have attended many workshops I get addicted to you and I don't mm -hmm. know why before I used to see that uh, in YouTube tarot and all that uh, things but uh, uh, Ma work uh, Lakshmi workshop karne ke baad mein life aise itti beautifully change hui hai meri ki wow. words nahi hai meri मेरे पास जैसे मेरे दोनों घर एक इंडिया में नेदरलैंड्स में रहती हूँ मेरा ये घर रेनोवेशन स्टार्ट हो गया और इंडिया का भी मेरा हमारा प्लॉट था वो भी स्टार्ट हो गया और मेरे हस्बैंड का मैं हाउस हाउस वाइफ हूँ सिंपल रिचुअल्स करने था मुझे बहुत क्वेश्चंस थे कि मैं अपने लिए क्या मैं तो ऐसा कुछ अर नहीं हूँ मैं अपने लिए कैसे तो उसमें आपने बहुत सारे प्रोसेस बताए थे कि ऐसा करो घर के लिए सब का नेम लेके तो मेरे हस्बैंड का भी बहुत अच्छा बिजनेस बहुत अच्छा हो गया संतान लक्ष्मी और बहुत सारी जो फॉर्म्स हैं लक्ष्मी जी के कोई भी प्रॉब्लम हो उनसे आप विश करो नेक्स्ट वीक वो सॉल्व हो जाती है नेक्स्ट रिचुअल करने के टाइम पे ये बहुत मैजिकली ये सब जो रिचुअल्स हैं बहुत मैजिकली हैं आपके आपने जो सिखाया है और छोटी छोटी तो हर विश पूरी हुई है छोटी तो वो महालक्ष्मी डायरी में लिखा नेक्स्ट मंथ एवरी फ्राइडे उसके लिए बोला और नेक्स्ट वो मंथ में देखा तो वो फुल हो गया मतलब फुलफिल हो गया जैसे अभी मेरे हस्बैंड का बर्थडे ट्वेंटी सेवन से ही मैंने लिखा भी था कि ट्वेंटी वन सेवन से ही ये वर्कशॉप स्टार्ट हाँ। हो रहा है तो right. मुझे ऐसा लग रहा है कि वो ब्लेसिंग है मेरे लिए महालक्ष्मी की उस दिन से स्टार्ट हो रहा है तो ऐसे छोटे बहुत सारे मतलब है मेरे बेटे का कभी शैतानी कर रहा था एक आध दिन एबेकस में जैसे क्लास जाता है एक आध मिस्टेक हुआ तो मैं सिंपल महालक्ष्मी से बोलती हूँ माँ देखो ये ऐसे ऐसे करता है वो नेक्स्ट क्लास में उसका सब करेक्ट होता है ये बहुत लाइफ में ऐसा लगता है वो साथ में है लवली सोमिया लवली सो मच यू नो आपका जो फीडबैक है इतना ब्यूटिफुल है and thank you so much somya and uh, so many of you are, are writing you know in um, uh, in the comment section also that your husband attended two years back and you got a gift of diamond earrings thank you so much reading all of this is making me so so happy uh, there's so many of you want to you want to share your feedback about the workshop but you know uh, we are running out of time that's why otherwise i would have loved to hear all of you but you know what you can do is you can send a video to my team or we keep on having goddess lakshmi reunions any which way every year so you can give me uh, your video review there as well now uh, the the ones who have given okay uh, feedback there is uh, uh since i want to offer my gratitude to you uh, my team will send you a blessing in the sense uh, which you know you will get a message blessing message okay uh, from me via my team so congratulations somya namrata sushmita the, the reason i did not tell this in the beginning because i did not want to influence the ones who want to come and give their feedback on their own okay now they got a uh, what about the ones okay so i'm going to ask you all a question okay the ones who answer this question will get something very special okay are you guys ready are you guys ready yeah ready okay now uh Over here, we do not have the option of stopping 
so sapan you are attending this session sapan is my husband all right so i will need your help to know who is the first one because we do not have the option of stopping comments over here okay so the question is okay the question is why are we using salt and camphor oh girija i saw girija's name first okay so i saw girija's name first uh i'm glad all of you are typing okay i will need my husband's confirmation as well so many of you are writing but already girija had answered i just want my husband to check in the comment section if there was somebody before girija so i'm going to ask girija can you just type a hi to me please in the comment section was there anybody before girija can you just check there is there's only one girija okay so jyoti is saying druvi can you just check you can't check okay so okay druvi seems before girija so druvi druvi are you my niece okay so druvi and girija druvi said for negativity but tanisha said tanisha is first oh so you can check so what we'll do is we will check okay we'll check the comment section after the session all right do not worry okay just a moment now everybody can just stop uh, typing so that i can go up and see there's a reason why i'm saying okay first is druvi and next is tanisha so druvi tanisha jiva okay and then is girija so girija druvi and tanisha okay i can check the comments okay so druvi tanisha and girija you are winning rupees 500 off on enrollment for goddess lakshmi workshop so in case if you enroll it is going to be 500 rupees off for you you can contact my team and they will give you that uh, off okay congratulations already the prosperity has begun isn't it isn't it but what about others okay what about the 205 people who are right now attending the session and what about the 360 30 something who have enrolled us for the session what about them do you think i'll disappoint you no okay so i'm going to do a special reading for all of you we're going to see how goddess lakshmi is going to bless you okay so ready everyone yeah first thing that i am seeing is goddess lakshmi is going to bless you with lot of strength okay she is telling like you know somewhere i what i'm sensing is that you have had a difficult last 3 months or something has happened in 2024 itself which has truly disappointed you and broken you like though you are putting a very brave front in somewhere in your heart you are crying about it and goddess lakshmi is kind of you know like she's a mother right a mother can't see her child cry so she is kind of giving you that strength you know what be strong i am with you you cry as much as you want but i am with you the first thing i saw was strength i'm also seeing a check or an unexpected money coming your way 
all right uh it may or may not be a big amount but i see an unexpected money coming your way i also see that many of you had offered uh flowers like a lotus or something in water okay to goddess lakshmi which she absolutely loved okay now let's see the blessings all right okay first a blessing for a fresh start okay there will be new beginning so all the past things are going to be cleared off and fresh start the second is a blessing of the earth which means there will earth what is earth earth is where all the prosperity you know earth is where the money is right we don't have money on moon neither do I, we have money on mars right so when you say blessing on earth some of you are going to be blessed with a home okay there is going to be a material growth happening in your life okay and then we have a blessing on a homecoming so i did tell you right for some, it's literally going to be a home. And uh, for some, it would be like, you know, you feel like you're a black sheep in the family. Or maybe you feel somewhere your family is not accepting you. There will be this acceptance coming your way. All right. Hi, Yurani. How are you doing? Okay. Because you shared a very beautiful miracle with us. Okay. Now, let's go ahead with the wish fulfillment meditation. Are you all ready? Are you all ready with the wish fulfillment meditation? All right. I request all of you to close your eyes. Close your eyes. Have some water. If you had not had water for some time, just have some water. Yeah. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Relax, completely relax. As you relax, you can feel a beautiful golden ray coming from the sky. This beautiful golden ray is entering your crown chakra and spreading throughout your body. It is removing all the negativity out of your feet. You can see the negativity going out of your feet. You can see divine beings pouring water on your feet to clear all the negativity. The divine beings slowly lift you. While lifting you, they are constantly pouring the golden light on you so that all negativity washes out of you. As you go ahead with the divine beings, you see the beautiful moon, half moon. And on that half moon, Goddess Lakshmi is sitting. 
the divine beings place you near her feet. She is so happy to see you. She gets up and hugs you. And when she hugs you, the joy of reconnecting with mother makes you feel so complete. She tells you, do not worry. I am with you. She looks into your eyes. She cups your face and tells you everything is going to be okay. Goddess Lakshmi tells you it's time to fulfill your wishes. She holds your hand and takes you near a tree, Kalpa Vriksha tree, the wish fulfilling tree. She tells you to sit under it and start visualizing your wishes. You can also say your wishes aloud. You start visualizing your wishes coming to fruition. You're so happy, you're so glad. There's a joy in your heart because you know your wishes are going to get granted. Goddess Lakshmi tells you that do not worry about intrusive thoughts. The Kalpa Vriksha tree will only take your wishes that are good for you. You thank Goddess Lakshmi. She then gives you a scroll. You open the scroll. There it is. The first three wishes that are going to get fulfilled. Read those wishes. You hug her again. And offer your gratitude to her. Goddess Lakshmi caresses your hair and tells you, I'm always there for you. She wipes your tears and tells you, it's time to go back to Mother Earth. She holds your hand and takes you to the divine beings who are waiting for you. You touch her feet. You offer her salutation. And then the divine beings hold your hand. They take you back to Mother Earth. She is full of greenery and beauty. Mother Earth tells you, that as per Goddess Lakshmi's wish and grace, she will ensure that all your dreams, earthly dreams, manifest. Whenever you feel light, you can open your eyes. Thank you so much. I could see so much of negativity going away. I feel for some of you, you are not able to go ahead. Like there's some obstacle or the other, which is kind of holding you back. I saw that, like that obstacle going away. Like there was the somebody holding your feet, that going away. 
I also saw a lot of healing happening. Okay. When I saw the scroll which Goddess Lakshmi presented, I could see three uh, edge. One was, this could be for uh, the ones, not for all of you, but whatever you have asked for. Uh, I saw three edge, healthy baby, home and health. These are the three things that I saw in the scroll for you. All right. And um, I'm so happy that um, you are going to get blessed by her. And that was the precise reason, one of the reasons why I wanted to take this webinar. Because I knew that Goddess Lakshmi is abundant and she will grace you no matter what. Thank you so much. And lots of love to all of you. I hope you enjoyed this uh, session, this one hour session. I won't be available uh, after this session to answer any queries, but you'll have this video recording available to you, which you can always uh, see. All right. And yes, Goddess Lakshmi Workshop starts on 27th September. And if you wish to enroll for it, you can WhatsApp my team and uh, they will definitely give you the link to enroll. All right. Thank you so much, all of you. Take care. Bye-bye. And somebody wrote, I have statues, but not pictures. So you can keep pictures in your uh, altar if you want to, but don't no need to have this one picture of Goddess Lakshmi and one photo of as her as well. Just one is enough. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.